What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you guys with another cool photo. Now, this one isn't going to be too long. I'm just going to show you something again. It looks like it's intelligently made. Some people will call these just rocks. Let's see if they call this one rocks as well. So let's have a look. This is from, you can see, NASA JPL or Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And it is from Sol 184. And you can see the photo right here. Let me see if I can get this thing centered here. Um, this object here in question, and it's, there's a few other things here, but this is my main concern. And guys, you don't have to do anything to this. Go ahead and hit the, the high resolution or full resolution, if you will. And you can just see, just, I mean, I don't have to do a thing to it. You know, some people, you know, they'll say, oh, well, you know, you're messing with it in Photoshop. I don't have to do a thing to it, guys. Here it is, man. Here it is. What, what object or what kind of natural rock does this? Goes up like this here has this 90 degree angle, goes up and around like this arch type thing inside, has something that looks like, I want to use the term underbelly because it looks like something could be flat or something else. But if you look at the back of this thing, it comes out to a point, goes up, comes back down, goes like this to a point almost. But it looks like it has some kind of weird lip right here. Like it goes down, but you can see like there's one or there's several different lighted spots. I don't know if they're holes or if there, so it might be something that was had holes already drilled in it or like rectangular. It's hard to tell at that point. But let me just zoom into a little bit more and we can have a better look. Check this out. It looks like there's either see through pieces here or something or they are just lighter. But you can see what looks like this weird lip type thing. What rock, natural rock, will do that? I don't buy it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go jump into uh, Photoshop real quick and I want to show you this. And again, I'm not going to take up too much time, guys. This one, this is like a perfect picture right here. Um, this is what I'm seeing in this right here. And we can jump back. There's the original, but you can see it's kind of grainy. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna enlarge it and jump back, get rid of some of the more orangey colors here. And we're going to look at it this way. Get rid of the, also the, if you look at it right here. I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, I'm going to bounce back here a little bit. My bad. Right here, you can see a lot of, it's got quite a bit of shadowing to it. So we're going to try to get rid of that as well as some of the nasty color in there. And this is what you've got. Now, I can go like this and, and look at the way that, guys, look at the way this thing does this. Check this out. It's kind of, you can see it's actually rounded here at the bottom. Goes up like this here. Has this little corner right here. Goes around. You can see the outline of this. Has this rounded piece. Has something underneath the belly of it. I'm, I'm going to make the assumption, of course, you know, that could be totally inaccurate, that this is the bottom and the, the other part of this on the other side of this standing up is that it's the top part. Whether it is or not, couldn't tell you. But you can see something that's like kind of sticking out like this here, almost like it's almost like cylindrical strapped to the bottom of this thing. But you can clearly see that corner. And this is doing this here. And then you've got the outer part that does right here. It goes out like this. Goes all the way around. Goes like this here, but it looks like it does this as well. Like in other words, this is a lip right here. Goes like this. And of course you've got the one, two, three, four, five. Looks like there's these little specks in here. And of course you've got the inner piece or the bottom, whichever you prefer. It kind of, well, that's not exactly round, is it? Um, but you can see this thing actually contours or accommodates this corner. Now, to me, and, you can, and I did it a little bit better here, as you can see, look at this right there. What rocks do that in nature? And, of course, again, like, you, like I said, I've got this rounded piece here. That's actually a little bit bigger there. but um, And you can see that. Tell me what natural rock does this. Okay. Um, so what I did with, I also looked at this other piece here. We're going to jump to, well, let's do it this way. Let's go to this one here, and you can see this is a little bit better right here at the top where you can actually see what looks like these little holes, okay? But it looks like the way it's designed, this comes out, goes like this here, but you got to keep an eye. This also has this, well, let's do it at the top here. It has, comes out like this here, has a top edge, if you will, goes around. I didn't do that really straight, did I? Um, and then it has another piece like, yeah, like there's a lip sticking down here. And then it has these little tiny holes. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then, of course, you've got the bottom or inner piece. Call it what we want or what you will. 
seriously, guys, what does that? And of course, you got the inner lip, if you will. And it, look at the way this thing does this. It accommodates. And I'm not doing this very straight because I'm doing this on the fly now. Um, right here. Try to lighten it up a little bit for you guys. And you can see where they try to either manipulate this or it's just simply shadowing. But for me, you can see the way they look like they try to go like this here. Like they try to get rid of this and this goes up and over. See that? And as I went step by step, you can see this a little bit better now. It's got this stops, goes up like this, and goes across. To me, this could be just shadowing. It's just the way the, the, the photo is, and I'm okay with that. Um, but like I said, I try to get some more of this out. You can see whether something in here does this here. Almost like the Omega Ohm sign. See it? Um, what is it? I mean, something in the back here. You see something that looks like this piece here. Goes to the back. And, of course, this piece goes like this, up. And you can see what looks little details. This has got this little other hole right here. And whatever that is in the shade there, uh, you can see that. See it? Let's go back to this. This is another weird-looking pot. To me, this looks like stuff strewn all over the place. Every time I see this, that's exactly what it looks like to me. Um, check this out. I don't know if you've seen this. This is pretty cool, too. Let's jump out. There's a... Look at this pattern or whatever this is in this rock now i'm going to go ahead and go back to this check this out it has this weird pattern and it looks like it's kind of like jagged type thing if you will see the way that does that and it has what looks like see the shadow kind of has this weird shadowing to it see it now i'm going to just zoom in for anybody who's on the smaller devices so you guys can see this a little bit better um what do you think what is that? I mean, now for anybody on a PC, this is going to look ex extremely distorted. But just just keep in mind, guys, you can always just, you know, stop this any way you like. But to me, I mean, oh, wow. Now, I've, I went black and white on this thing, and what do you think? Now, of course, you can actually start to see more of these, you know, it's not the best quality uh, photo there and, you know, resolution. But you can see that. Whatever that is, I couldn't tell you. But it looks like it's actually cut out into something. Was that purposely carved out? See that? What is it? And of course, I can go back to this. And it, like I, guys, I can go right back to this here. And I'll show you the original, which is right here. Which is smaller, but that's okay. I always try to add more pixels so we can blow this picture up a little bit more. And what we're looking at is right back in here. I'm going to zoom in right now for you. And, of course, it's going to go right to crap because, as you can see, the more you zoom in, this is the reason why I make these photos bigger for this reason because now it just looks com completely uh, pixelated and really breaking apart here. But for anybody on the smaller devices, this may actually look pretty decent. Now, I'm going to jump back out, get rid of some of the color, and we'll have another look at it. And there it is. What does everybody think? Natural? Or is that something been carved into something? You guys be the judge, as always. But this this piece right here, come on, guys. I've said it a hundred times, man. This stuff is not, and I repeat, not. Look at this thing. No way, no how is that thing natural. Show it right here. Even this right here, this piece laying right here, if you take this here and go through the photo. Now we can jump back to this one here real quick, and then we'll be done with this video. Um, just jump back out a little bit. You can just, guys, you can just tell it's, it's, it's parts. And they're trying to make these things look as natural, if you will, as possible. And they're just not. They're just not. You can see what they try to do their best to cover this up. It just looks like, like they just put some kind of you know, graphics or whatever over the darn thing just to try to hide it. But you can see what looks like smaller pieces in here, other pieces here. You can see that inside this. So, I mean, you try to blast through it, but of course it's been covered for a reason. So the likelihood of you getting all of this information, all that you want out of it is like slimmer than none. Um, so you guys, you know, it's a little tough to do that. But tell me, guys, what do you think that is, man? It looks intelligently made. That's the way I look at it. I couldn't tell you what it is, but the way this thing is designed, 
That's clearly not. Let's just zoom back out a little bit. In fact, I'll just go ahead and do this. It'll be a little easier. We can go in between instead of doing the just the steps that are um, if just by hitting the plus and minus, jumping in and out. We can just do smaller steps. But just the way that looks, man. I mean, come on. I mean, what is that, guys? Look at this. And whatever, I believe this is actually part of or leaning against something that's also intelligently made. And you can see, again, I don't know if this is just holes and we're seeing through the other side where there's actually light or if that's actually painted. I couldn't tell you. Don't know. Um, you can see something coming out right here. See this? Going in right there and coming back out. What is it? I believe this thing's quite thick, too. You can see, like, there's a bottom of this. Now, when you first look at this photo, it's so... Listen, I mean, even the original... It's not quite as dark because when I first started doing this thing, uh, you can see it right here. You know, just we can go back to the original. And you can see it's not as bad. It can, it's not as dark. But again, you can see how this photo just starts to fall apart. See that? But look at this. This corner is actually being accommodated by the top piece or cover or call it what you will. Now, I, I don't know, guys. You guys be the judges always. Tell me what you think this is. There it is, man. I'm going to get up real close there so you guys can really check this thing out. What is it? Is it intelligently made? Do you guys think it's just a simple rock? Um, there it is. There's the outline to it. And, of course, that's a small one. We don't want to go back to the small one. There you go. To me, guys, I've been saying this all along. And I, I'm almost positive this is in between Saul. Not only because this is, uh, I think this was 184, I think we said. Uh, 184. And I've done the the uh, what looked like those stones and what looked those other uh, carved stones and stuff like that. This is in the same area. Um, and if I can confirm that, on which I'm going to put this together, um, I'm going to try to make uh, another quick video showing this thing is in the same area as all these other carved rocks, uh, these other things that look intelligently made. Um, you can just, whatever these things are, they're not huge. They're not very big, but they are decent size. Um, let me see if I can back way out here just for a moment. Okay, you can see right here on the lower right, this is just a part of the rover. If I had to guess, I want to say this is 25, 30 feet away tops. So whatever this thing is, and of course that's only a guesstimate, you know that. But judging by this here, part of the rover or what it, whatever it may be, you got to assume the deck is way down here somewhere or, or lower. Um, I believe this is the mass cam, and I could be wrong. I believe it is the mass um, being as high as it is. It looks like it is. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to, I'm going to just, a guesstimate would be about 30 feet. And again, I could be wrong on that, but that's what it seems like to me. And they're not very big guys. Whatever the hell that thing is, is not big. And again, we'll go back to the other one here. You guys tell me what you think this thing is. Um, what did, I mean, one, is it artificial, intelligently made, or is it naturally or naturally occurring? That's the first question. Secondly, what is it? What is that? You guys tell me what you think it is. It's clearly, I couldn't tell you what it is, but it, it is definitely 100% intelligently made. At least to me, it appears that way. Now, not everybody may feel the same, and that's fine too. But to me, the way that thing is, the way that thing has that, that, cor that corner there, and this piece accommodates it, like a cover or upper piece or a uh, backside, whatever this thing may be, yeah. This clearly, to me, is intelligently made. And guys, they're just trying to do their best to make this thing look um, like it's a rock. Like most of these things. Now, don't get me wrong. It may not be solely them, meaning the people who are tampering with these photos. It could be as simple as, you know, these things being encrusted over X amount of years. What do you guys think? And, of course, you guys always get the last say. Of course. Um, but anyway, guys, give me your take on it. What do you think, man? Um but anyway, guys, smash the subscribe button, uh, and right next to the, subscri sub uh, the subscribe button is a little bell type thing. When you hit that button as well, it also will in, uh, it'll give you notice of notifications when I have my next video out. Now, some people claim, well, I, well, they're saying, well, Chris, I'm not getting, I'm not being notified. Like I said, smash the subscribe button and hit that little bell button right next to it. This way, you will uh, uh, be abreast of the uh, next. Um, videos that I have coming out. And I do have some cool ones. I got one that was actually talked about quite a bit, which, which is supposed to be one of the most uh, untouched moon uh, photos uh, that was ever taken, which you'll find that's not true, but what's in it is awesome. And I think you guys are going to like to see that. Um, 
I mean, I even made it even easier for you guys. I circled everything, um, the most obvious things, but didn't even touch the surface of the photo. That's how much is in it. So, again, we're looking at Mars, seeing these, these objects laying all over the place, what look intelligently made. The moon, stuff that's intelligently made, whether it be structures or, other, or otherwise. Um, I don't think there's any doubt, man. I just don't think there's any doubt that we have life not only in our solar system or had life in our solar system, but I think it's far beyond that. I think it was uh, in the news just recently. They found another 300 uh, planets. Now, whether they're all uh, inhabitable, that's a different story. But almost every day, they're finding new, many new planets. Why? Well, we got better uh, equipment out in space now. Updated Hubble. Different other telescopes. Um, so, yeah, more and more, they're finding more and more of these planets. So, <laughs> I don't think there's any doubt at all that there's life otherwise um, in, you know, or other places, I should say, uh, both in our solar system and uh, uh, out of our solar system and into the universe. Anyway, you guys give me a take. Tell me what you think is going on. Do you think there's life everywhere in the solar system here as well as uh, exo solar system? Give me, a, you know, just give me your thoughts on it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.